everyone welcome to delta pi here we are presenting the mind maps of the important chapters in maths which is helpful for both cbse and state board students mind maps are useful to recap what you learned in a chapter and it makes your learning simple the first chapter we are taking here is real numbers so the real numbers are easy scoring chapter and total marks you are getting from this chapter is 6 marks so let us see what are the important topics which you have to be remember in this chapter the first topic is euclid's division lemma so it states that given positive integers a and p there exist unique integers q and r satisfying a is equal to bq plus r where the remainder is greater than or equal to 0 or less than the divisor b using euclid's division lemma we are finding the hcf of two positive integers say c and d and here c should be always greater than d so what are the steps we have to follow while we are calculating the hcf of any two numbers using euclid's division lemma so remember these steps so that it is very useful so the first step is apply euclid's division lemma for two numbers c and d so that it is c equals dq plus r step 2 if the remainder is 0 then the divisor d is the hcf of both the numbers c and d if the remainder is not equal to 0 continue the process with the help of euclid's division lemma by taking d and r as the numbers and continue this process till you get the remainder 0 let us take one example to find the hcf of f of 135 and 225 using euclid's division lemma a equals bq plus r satisfy the condition r should be greater than or equal to 0 and less than the divisor b so here let us take the greater number as a that is a equals 225 and b equals 135 so a is the dividend b is the divisor so that euclid's division lemma 225 is equal to 135 into 1 plus 90 so 135 is the divisor and 90 is the remainder so the remainder is not equal to 0 so continue the next step taking 135 and 90 135 as the dividend and the 90 as divisor so divisor into quotient that is 90 into 1 plus the remainder is 45 so here the remainder is still not 0 so and the divisor is 90 continue in the next step that is 90 is equal to 45 into 2 45 into 2 is 90 so the remainder is nothing that is 0 so if you get the remainder 0 stop the process and the divisor itself is the hcf hence the hcf of 135 and 225 is 45 and the next topic you have to be remember in real numbers is fundamental theorem of arithmetic it states that for any composite number every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes and this factors are unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occurs using prime factorization we are finding the hcf and lcm and this relation states that hcf and lcm of any two numbers is equal to the product of two numbers and some of the important theorems you have to be remember in this chapter is let p be a prime number if p divides any square of a number that is a square then p divides 
a where a is a positive integer the second very important is prove that root 2 is an irrational not only root 2 you may get root 3 or root 5 plus 2 2 minus root 5 here is an example how to prove root 2 as an irrational let us assume root 2 is a rational that is p by q where p and q are integers and p and q are co-primes that is both are having the common factor as 1 so let us square 2 is equal to p square by q square so that p square equals to q square it means 2 divides p square if 2 divides p square then 2 divides p that is p let us take p is e that equals 2k squaring on both sides p square equals 4k square so we know that p square is 2q square 2q square equals 4k square on simplifying you will get q square equals 2k square it means 2 divides q square if 2 divides q square then 2 divides q 2 is a factor of q as well as 2 is a factor of p means p and q has common factor 2 which contradicts our assumption that we took p and q are co-primes means p and q are having a common factor other than 1 hence it's a contradictory statement hence root 2 may not be rational root 2 is an irrational number so the next important theorem you have to be remember in this chapter is let x be a rational number whose decimal expansion terminates then x can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are co-primes the prime factorization of q is of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m or 2 to the power of n or 5 to the power of m where n, n m are non-negative integers converse of the above statement if x equals p by q a rational number such that the prime factorization of q is of the form 2 to the power of n or 5 to the power of n or the product of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m where n m are non-negative integers then x has a decimal expansion which terminates these are the important topics you have to be remember in in the real numbers so we are coming with the next mind maps of some other important chapters like quadratic equations trigonometry stay tuned to our channel see you again bye